All right, we have Adam Gase. He's out of his meeting. The Adam Gase Report is brought to you at Windorama and Anderson Windows, M&T Bank, Telemore Dew, and PC Richard and Son. Coach, how you doing? Great. How you guys doing? We're doing okay. So we had Sam on yesterday. He said that he still thinks he's going to play on Sunday. What's the latest? What do you? What's your feel on this? Uh, I mean, we'll see. The good thing is we'll, we'll at least have a chance to get him out of practice, kind of see how he looks, see how he feels, you know, moving around, see how his pocket movement is. So really that's going to be the, you know, that's going to tell us a lot. Now, one thing he told us yesterday, Adam, I wonder if it matters to you, he said he's still not cleared to lift weight, so he can run through all the plays, but is he going to be strong enough if he gets the okay spleen-wise to pick, play on, you know, for Sunday that, that you'd know on Friday? Is that enough time to build him up? Well, I mean, he can pra he's going to practice. He's been medically cleared. It's just we have to wait for his test results to be cleared for contact. Right. So, I mean, it's just it's a fine line with, you know, all the doctors and, and kind of the information that we get. You know, we just got to gotta wait. But how unique is, though, the spleen, right? I mean, if this is any other injury, I guess you kind of assess the pros and the cons. But do you have to err even more on the side of caution because of, of this particular area of the body? I mean, for me, it's it's whatever the doctors tell me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not an expert in that area. So I just know if they say, hey, he's clear to go, you're all right on Sunday, that's a, that's a good thing to me. If they tell us something different, then we'll adjust. Is there a positive? In, I mean, there's no positive from this kid getting mono, but is there a positive about the uncertainty that, you know, the, the team you're playing has to prepare for two different quarterbacks? Uh, I'm... <laughs> I, I guess if we had, if we were drastically different, right, I would say yes. But I mean, we haven't really, we didn't show anything that's crazy different compared to when Sam was in there. Okay, uh, offensive line. Is there going to be changes? You intimated yesterday that there could be. You, you want to bring the best five out there. What's the latest on that? Yeah, we're just going to be, you know, going through this process during the week of practice and kind of figure out who are the best five to, to put out there and and. Who, who works well together. That's that's really the biggest thing we want to look at is, you know, we want five guys out there that are working as one. What were you able to accomplish from a, just a coaching perspective during this time off? Uh, just going through you know, those first three, ga first three games, kind of seeing where, you know, our major problems were, whether it was player scheme, play call, all those type of things. So, you know, spent a lot of time doing that, kind of looking through, you know, really moving forward, what, what's the best direction to go as far as what we need to do, what we need to get better at, how we need to adjust things, whether it be practice, meeting time, walkthroughs, however we do it, to find ways to help our guys get better. Is it almost, was it almost a time of evaluating yourself and the other coaches, too? Did that come into play? I mean, we just spent a lot of time on kind of how we were teaching things, you know, the, you know things that we had in, things that we we thought we need to take out that we need to not re really do with with the group that we have here we, we kind of went through everything i mean there was you know we basically took that whole week to to go through all that stuff now what's the challenge how different will this team look from quarterback to quarterback you're going to prepare hoping having Darnold, but how much does that change if he, if he can't go not i mean not too much i mean it's i mean the biggest thing that sam the biggest difference between this is Sam's mobility is obviously, you know, it's it's unique. You don't have a lot of quarterbacks that move in the pocket and kind of can escape the pocket and create yards that, you know, outside the pocket or may, make big plays down the field outside the pocket. Do you look at this as a really big game, Adam? I know in the NFL there's just 16 of them, but with starting off 0-3, are you putting a lot of stress on this one? We've got to get this one? I mean, it's every week's the same. I mean, that's the whole NFL. I mean, every week, I mean, it's either the end of the world or it's not. So, right. I mean, in our, in our world, every week's a big week. Uh, right. what, what kind of challenges do the Eagles present? Where do you want me to start? <laughs> most important. Well, then you worry about the most. No, I, I would say d dealing with their D-line. I mean, they got a very deep rotation. They have very, I mean, you got multiple Pro Bowl players on that on that line. I think their ability to attack down the field in the passing game on the other side of the ball is is you know something that is going to be a challenge for us. Considering we've we've gotten a little bit better, but we need to make some strides as as far as you know avoiding explosive plays. That's a, that's a that's going to be a big thing for us, and we're just going to have to do a great job protecting the football, keeping them in front of us, and then making sure we block these guys up.